when I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore. When I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore oh when i remember what the lord has done i will never go back anymore oh when i remember what the lord has done I will never go back anymore. Oh, when I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore. When I Remember what the Lord has done. I will never go back anymore. Oh, when I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore say no never no 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 I will never go back anymore say no 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 a never I will never go back anymore when I remember what the Lord has done I will never go back anymore oh when I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore. I say no, no, hey, never, no, no, I, no, no, I will never, I will never go back anymore. No, hey, never, I, no, no, I, no, no, I will never go back anymore. I say no, no, never, never, I will never go back anymore. The song, this song, the song by Shingu Mshaba that says that when I remember what the Lord has done for me, I will never go back again. What the Lord has done for me, you know that many people think that and think that God has given me wealth, has given me a, a money or I've won lotto because of this God. No. I didn't want Lord to because of this God. The thing I received from this God, it was salvation. The reason I say, I will never go back again. I will never go back again to the life of sin. I was, uh, I was a slave of sin. But now, but, but look at me now. I am uh, experiencing salvation. Salvation. 
salvation through righteousness. So God has brought me this far because of his ability, not because of my power or because of my intelligence, but because of his ability. I was then taken from that life of sin, from that old Mr. Matebula I used to be. Look who I am now, proclaiming this gospel of God to the nation, to the people of God, to the people who want to come to God, and to those who are fought, and to those who have fallen, who have fell into sin, to the fallen people. I say, rise up, young man. Rise up, young woman. Rise up, young daughter. Rise up, young man. Rise up, young woman. Rise up, my brethren. It is not over yet. It is not over yet. Wake up and take your cross. Follow Jesus because where you are going back again, you will be destroyed three times, not three times, zillion times more than you were destroyed before your encounter with God. So stay firm in that salvation. I hope I'm speaking to my sister, to my brother out there, to my brother and out there who are experiencing this salvation. Hold on, hold fast. Hold tight into that salvation. Don't lose that hope. Stay firm. Know the gospel of God. Walk with the gospel of God. Don't think of turning go. Don't think of turning back to your life of sin. Because their life of a, a sinful life is a stinking life. It's a stinking life. It's a stinking life. I hate sinful life. It's a, it's a it's a life where there is no hope there. So I hope I'm speaking to my people out there. Some of you don't know God. Some of you, they don't know the power. They don't know totally. They don't know nothing about this God. So I can tell you today, hold fast. Don't despise the situation that you are in. Whether you're a rapist, whether you're a murderer, whether you are a sorcerer, whether you are anything which has been rejected by the society. The society is failing to forgive you. But I tell you out there, don't be, don't despise the position that you are in. God wants to use you. God wants to use you. But the question is, are you ready to be used by God? Are you ready, are you ready to be used by God? He wants to use you. He wants to take you out of that life of sin, that life of a sinful life. Sinful life is a depressing life because there, there is no hope. A sinful life, it's a life where a human being has lost their control. So what are you doing out there? You want to come to God. Come to God, come to this God. This God has power to take you out of that sinful life that you are in now, where you are smoking weed. He has the ability to take you out of that sinful life, where you are addicted to alcohol. He has the ability to take you out of that sin, where you are addicted, where you are addicted to, to love, they're addicted to sex because some of the people are addicted to sex. They're addicted to sex. That's why most of the people end up raping because of want to feel the sexual desire. Whereas they don't feel well, whereas they don't they don't fulfill, they don't they don't end that desire which is within their body. They are spiritual men. So I tell you out there, it doesn't matter how huge 
how massive, how huge or massive situation that you are at now. Maybe we have this God, this powerful God, he don't want a time to be communicated with. You don't want data, you don't want data. You don't want you to be aware of smartphones. Yeah, I don't want you to have a smartphone. You just have to connect with him spiritually through prayer and supplication. Not just praying to God, but praying to God with the spirit and in truth. Coming to his throne, coming to his altar, casting everything that is heavy, that is weighing heavy on your shoulder. I don't know what you are struggling with out there, but my intention for doing this video was to display a powerful rehabilitation for that addiction that you are in now. It will take you out of that situation. This God that we serve, which is despised by the society, can take you away from, he can take you out of that situation that you're experiencing now. I don't know whether you are depressed, whether you have lost hope or rejected by people. Be assured, rest assured to this God because He will protect you. We have the ability. Take your own situation of your own. Don't be afraid to go to him. He is not a monster. Tell him everything. Tell him everything. Anything that you are struggling with, whether it's a sexual sin, whether you are confused, you are confused with your gender. Cast your bed and sound to God. Alcohol, weed, hubbly, and fill the void that is within ourselves. But that void, that emptiness, it needs the Spirit of God for it to be filled. Don't leave this earth without knowing the true gospel of God. Because you will be cast into the lake of fire. You will be cast into the lake of fire, which is hell. Your presence here on earth, God has given you, because God has given you an opportunity to know Him. But you are playing with that opportunity. You are wasting that time with your boyfriend. You are wasting that time with your family. You're wasting that time with social media. You're wasting that time with friend or fashion. You're wasting that time with your money that you have. I'm warning you all. Repent. Repent if you want to go to heaven. Everyone, everyone here on earth wants to go to heaven. But the problem is this. The problem is the decisions we make here on earth don't correlate with the requirement of heaven. Of, of heaven. Our actions here on earth Correlate with her. Correlate with the daughters and sons or devils. Repent. No go. While it is still time to do so. Don't waste this opportunity. Don't waste this opportunity. 
God has given you life in order for you to know him. Know this God. Hallelujah out there. God bless you.